Howdy, 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 my darling Leo. I hope you're doing well, honey. My name is Simply Valka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading for March 2022, all right? If you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out, as well as let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you because that's how I keep up with you, uh, Leo. And let's just get right into your reading here today. Remember, if you want to book a reading with me, Leo, I only do readings on my website, Simply Valka. Dot com. So let's jump right into your energy this week, uh, Leo. We have here the Knight of Pentacles coming in here. All right, all right. As well as the Ace of Swords. Ooh, Leo, I like this. I like this, baby. I like this. And then we have the King of Cups. I like this a lot, baby. We have two different court cards coming in here, uh, Leo. So what I want to be telling you guys right off the bat is someone is building up the courage of reaching out to you, all right? Building up the courage to reaching out to you uh in pursuits of a friendship or relationship darling or in something some type of collaboration some type of group project as well especially if you put yourself out on the internet i wouldn't be surprised leo um if you catch a, the attention from somebody online to do something together i just heard podcast for some reason leo so do with that as you will um going back into this though with two different court cards coming in here the knight of pentacles as well as the king of cups uh here leo someone is building up the courage it's going to be slower than normal here than what you would be anticipating with this energy here king of cups this is someone who feels a lot of emotions internally but they don't express the ex externally all right knight of pentacles here it's the slowest moving knight out of all the knights unfortunately but it always gets to its destination eventually this person here they just it's like they're progressing towards you but not in the flashiest of ways they're gonna be subtly making attempt attempts uh leo towards trying to get to know you more through just you know just being like oh hey leo what you up to you know it's not gonna be be very direct to you you might be receiving these messages and just being like leo being like what does this person want because that's how i see this going down down girl that voice crack leo come on honey um that's how i see this going down darling is that this person is building up the courage is ace of swords energy they start doing like i uh ways of just dropping hints and just be like oh hey leo what you doing honey what you up to you know and you're just like minding my business you know what of it and then you're kind of just being like well this person's weird honey like why are they asking this right it doesn't make sense until later on when they actually start um being a little bit more direct but i don't feel like they're going to be initially direct i feel like they're going to be playing out the field a little bit here leo and seeing how receptive you are towards this energy you may or may not know them uh based off of this right now i'm not getting new or old energy here two of cups coming in here i mean darling honey like it's in the cards darling it's in the cards this person has this strong interest uh leo in connecting with you all right i am like while we're not pulling any fire cards here leo um i keep having this strong urge and just saying aries so i don't know if this person has some strong aries in their chart or what have you leo but it's just like it's been sitting on my brain the entire time and i usually like let's be real leo like i'm so used to doing like 12 readings uh, you know each week for all the zodiac signs it's inevitable to miss uh uh sometimes misspeak the zodiac sign like you know your children honey but in this case it's different I have no problems admitting when I'm just like being like, oh, oh I misspoke, right? Um, Leo, so two of cups coming in here, justice energy. So you might know this person. I'm not going to be lying. I feel like it might be a small percentage of you, Leos, if this is the case here. You'll know this due to this king of cups energy, all right? Is this person exuding a lot of emotions? Or are they more about, they probably don't say like, I love you or speak their emotions very much. They probably try to avoid, you know, like those types of conversations, the lovey-dovey kind of words and just, you know, they like to they they're, they're usually the ones that like to play it cool honey right justice energy so for those that it is the case honey all right they're going to be trying to come back in maybe showcasing that they've matured we know with that king of cups energy that they have been working on themselves knight of pentacles energy here but they want to come back into your life in some way here leo for those that don't know this energy here like this is very much so like a complimentary energy ten of wands here it's like they want to fix something uh here for you leo they want to assist you in some way 
uh, yeah, magician energy. It's like they really want to create with you. All right, Leo. So this, I really want to stress that I don't feel like this is going to like, it's going to resonate with some Leos, obviously, when it comes to some type of romantic partnership. But for the majority of Leos, this is talking about an energy where it's like either something platonic or it's like, because I just heard school project, um, like we're doing something together, like either helping you or what have you. It's overall very good intentions here, especially with the six of wands in the back of the deck here. Leo, like this person seems to be having a lot of clear intent. You know, I feel like this someone is very trustworthy. Again, I feel like you might be on your guard with this energy just because, again, like I get this sense of just they're very quirky or eccentric or just not in a way that you would normally understand like some of that is just they stand out to you just because of how different they are right i know it probably honey don't even say it in the comments don't even say it in the comments leo about being like velka how are you going to talk about someone being quirky and weird when you have some damn ducks on you honey right but yeah this is just a very different energy and that's how they stand out to you it's not because I don't think this is an extroverted energy or anything like that. This is just very like you don't realize the depth this person has until you get to know them. Right. It reminds me of um, an energy where it's just like um, talking to someone and you realize later on that they end up being like a prince or a princess, honey, of some other place. And they're actually like a billionaire. Right. But initially you were just like, oh, OK, this person is cool. Like, you know, we can vibe out. We can hang out. Right. That's how I see this energy initially. So how does this progress? Well, I feel like this mic is getting lower, honey. So forgive me on that. How does this progress? Two of wands, two of wands. I'm not gonna be lying here, Leo. I'm not gonna be lying here. This is definitely going to, this is this connection here is here to be staying, all right? Definitely looking far out into the future. I feel like you are. And then the nine of pentacles. All right, so Leo, <laughs> um, this is straight up, you know, the nine of pentacles is the best card to be having when it comes to finances, when it comes to, especially to my self-employed. All right, so I feel like this is really going to be resonating with my Leos that have been thinking about doing some type of project, um, you know, doing like an Etsy store, doing eBay, or just something that you call your own that you're trying to build yourself, Leo um there this energy is trying to come into your life here to assist you with that all right i don't have a spe specific time frame with this because the energies are all are all over leo so i don't want to give a time frame on that when i don't see a specific time frame but i can be i see this is actively going to be happening while you are already in the works towards putting effort towards this because this person comes in where they're observing you and being like oh i can help out leo doing this because you're already doing the process Project, right it's like you already took your car out you started washing your car this person sees and you're just like oh i want to help out this person washing their car it's in that narrative does that make sense so um this is really my sign to my leos whoever has been uh waiting to start working on a project or what have you this energy's here just sitting straight up ready to just be that sugar daddy energy honey where they're just like all right let me cater to you honey you know let me <laughs> you need the money to start up this business you need some insights it's very much so in this way i'm not saying that this person is going to be loaded with money or what have you this person could just be like a support system or what have you but this it plays a relevant role in terms of you creating some something bigger for your life all right and then yeah full energy coming in here whenever this energy does come in this is when everything changes for you darling all right this is where it's like not to say that you aren't able to do things and create things on your own leo let's first and foremost make that very clear leo you have the strong potential in really doing whatever it is that you want as a leo especially honey i mean come on now darling right but the moment that this energy comes in it's like it's like everything goes from like a five and like cranks it up to like a 20 honey and things just happen at a much rapid pace so this is what i'm suspecting for a lot of you leos this person coming in um you might already have awareness or an idea who it might be but i don't think you've connected to them past like a surface level that's what i'm going to be saying is like if you have connected with them surface level at most you might know like their favorite color or something like that but you don't know them right um this person first has either like a business mind or just relates to you on whatever it is you're wanting to do your business on right maybe if it's tarot this person in, uh, involved and is about tarot as well in that narrative here um and they just really 
change the, like <laughs> i almost want to be saying here leo that this person was pr purposely brought towards your life to play such a pivotal role towards whatever this is trying whatever it is that you are trying to create here leo all right so very exciting very very exciting <clears throat> so let's continue progressing with your reading here leo let's see what other thoughts we got uh coming in for you uh darling for march 2022 anything that you need to be watching out for leo or what have you let's see the tea here let's see what's what's good what's good we have the ace of pentacles darling i mean what you can really be expecting is quite literally <laughs> financial abundance uh leo this is going to be a month of where a lot more money starts coming in for you or the money starts becoming easier for you to manifest in your life if you're trying to make more money seven of wands coming in with the what is this nine of swords what i want to be telling you leos and what's the back of the deck here seven of pentacles all right be you're going to be having a lot of skepticism about who you trust leo in terms of what you put your roots towards right that's going to be your main issue where you you don't want to make a bad investment you don't want to uh engage with something that's going to just be mentally taxing for you leo is what i see and so uh answer to this three of pentacles you know this really relates to the other deck that we are using the light series tarot deck here um well yes you have a lot of anxiety about bringing the right people in or not you don't want to bring the wrong people in rather tomato tomato um spirit is really making it clear with this three of pentacles three of pentacles that's a card of collaboration on uh on a on the same goal people working together for a collective goal here all right and so um understand it entirely and trust and believe darling on a personal level i get it more than anybody leo but don't be afraid of opening up to these energies coming in because spirit is purposefully putting people into your path to take care of you right we just pulled the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles that's the card of you quite literally you um leo being spoiled in the situation you are the star of the show darling right <laughs> it's like the focus seems to just be on you so don't feel um don't feel too frustrated about or too anxious about opening up to these new energies we have a five of cups coming in with the four of swords you know you might be experiencing some <sighs> that's how this other energy plays its part here leo is like you as you continue on in your endeavors this energy becomes more plays a more of a stronger um presence in your life when you have some when you start experiencing some difficulties um in terms of getting your business off the ground or just what have you the five of cups is like something annoying we'll just say happens and then you have to just like figure out where you go from here picking up the pieces doing damage control what have you then this other energy comes in i feel like during that time frame ish oh, girl <laughs> and so i hope that makes sense for you leo um let's see here any other cards that we need to be pulling out for you darling leo any other cards we have the emperor card coming in here the thing about this is uh leo the thing that you might be having a hard time in doing is releasing control a little bit right you're used to being the star player of the show leo because i mean that's what leo's jobs are for is to be the main character of this world right darling i'm not a leo but i don't know why i'm gassing y'all up more than even my own zodiac sign but i just i just i vibe out with leos i love me a leo honey right the thing about it is you have to release control a little bit all right except the fact that you are not um in the driver's seat you're just in the passenger side with some type of facet and spirits in the driver's side currently right now that's not how life works uh, overall here leo but right now just give release the control sense of control a little bit here especially when this other energy that we keep i keep bringing up comes in all right you can trust this you can entrust their insights their inputs they know what they're talking about they know what they're doing spirit included honey all right so leo that's what i got for you very beautiful time socially for you very beautiful time for you your projects especially my passion projects especially for those that want to start their own business be a social media influencer what have you darling for those that are trying to make something of themselves darling beautiful reading for you all right leo so i hope you found this reading helpful 
just be aware about um, being too close minded towards insight from getting in outside help uh, when it comes to your life in, in whatever way this is talking about. All right, Leo. So I love you so much, darling. If you enjoy this reading today, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo. All right. If you want to book a private reading with me, simply velcro.com. Be sure to follow my social medias, TikTok and Instagram. All, all, all of them just only being simply Velka darling. My gosh. And I love you so much. And I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Leo. Bye, darling.